Blood is very important to the body. It's made up of different elements. Red blood cells supply oxygen to cells and tissues and remove waste. White blood cells fight infection, and platelets control blood clotting. Unfortunately, there are inherited blood disorders that keep the blood cells from doing their job, making it harder for the body to function. Since the disorder is inherited, it is caused by a faulty gene within the red blood cells. Researchers are developing a gene therapy that can potentially correct the faulty gene in patients with beta thalassemia, sickle cell disease, and Fanconi anemia. But first, let's talk about the root causes of these three disorders. Beta thalassemia is caused by a mutation in the HBB gene. This reduces production of hemoglobin, a protein that red blood cells need to carry oxygen. Less oxygen in the body causes weakness, fatigue, and slowed growth. Sickle cell disease is also caused by a mutation to the HBB gene. However, this mutation causes the hemoglobin molecules to be formed incorrectly. Instead of being flexible, they become rigid. This slows blood flow, causing fatigue and carrying the daily risk of severe pain episodes, difficulty breathing, or stroke. Fanconi anemia is caused by a mutation in one of several genes. The disorder stops the bone marrow from making enough red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. Now let's understand how an ex vivo gene therapy approach can target these faulty genes to help a patient's body function properly. Ex vivo means that a part of the treatment occurs outside of the body. For more on this treatment, here's Dr. Jennifer Adair. First, the patient's hematopoietic stem cells, also known as HSCs, need to be removed from the body. Stem cells are an undefined cell that can become different cells depending on what the body needs. HSCs are our blood forming cells that create red and white blood cells and platelets. HSCs are primarily found within the bone marrow, but can be coaxed into the bloodstream for easier collection and removal via a blood draw. A vector, which is often a virus, is how the working gene is delivered into the HSCs. Don't worry, the viral genes that are known to cause disease have been removed. The HSCs are then returned to the body, helping to correct the disease. This method aims to be completed only one time. Researchers continue to develop gene therapies designed to be safe and effective enough to improve the lives of patients with inherited blood disorders. For more information and resources about gene therapy for blood disorders, visit ASGCT.org.